Hi, I'm Lorraine and I'm working with the M2 Align Pilates Reformer today. And I'm just going to show you how to change the setting for the carriage. So one thing to always remember is that you need to make sure your springs are on some tension. So you can see here that I've got this already set up and there's a little bit of tension there on the spring ready for action. So I want to change the setting on the spring, or on the gear bar. So I'm going to, um, before I do that, and make sure that I'm not on the reformer, or my client's not on the reformer as well. Once I take this spring off, the carriage slides really, really easily, and we don't want any accidents. So, looking at the changing of the settings here. So looking at the gear bar first, we literally just lift up these little knobs and slide the um, gear bar up and down. It just easily slots into wherever you want to go. And we've got four settings here. So this, the gear bar's already in this first one, and we've got two, three, four. Then we need to match that, those four, with the four carriage stopper settings. So I can take the carriage stopper out here easily, and we've got the four different settings here. So at the moment, I've got this gear bar in the first setting, so I'm going to slot my carriage stopper into that first one. Make sure it's pushed all the way in, nice and set. And then I can pull the, gap, the uh, carriage all the way to the stopper, and then set the spring on there, and we're ready to go. So what you want to make sure is that you don't have the, cap, the stopper in that first setting, and then your gear bar in the second setting, because then when you attach the springs, it could easily jump off while you're working. So always make sure that these two match. So I'm going to put this back now to that first setting here for gear bar, first setting here for the stopper, and then pop that spring back on again, and it's under tension, so we won't have any accidents.